Thank you for tuning in to the Force Production Powerlifting Channel. My name is Lawrence Malchev and Happy New Year. The purpose of this video today is to talk about stress and how it will affect your, uh, your weight loss on the snake diet. How it may affect your weight loss uh, in a way that, that is not very pleasing to you. But I want you to know that there is hope. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why you may be gaining weight and what to expect when your weight comes back under control if you are being disciplined. Now, on the 13th of, Dece of, Dece of December, just last month, my father passed away at 2.15 in the morning. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it because what am I going to do, right? It's all headed our way. No one gets out alive. And my father died in a, in a warm house with family surrounding him. Nobody was arguing. Nobody's bickering over who's getting what and, and squabbling. He just wound down like a clock and that was it. It was a smooth transition. And so we're blessed with that. You know, our, we don't have any probate problems. Everything, I mean, we really couldn't ask for anything uh, s smoother as far as his passing. So here I am thinking, yeah, man, I got a handle on this. But really, um, the stress of it and everything that comes after it because I've got to move out of this great big giant house. I've got to sell his house. I don't have the bills to pay. I don't have the job to pay for a house this big. I've got to sell a whole bunch of things and start a new chapter. But I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. And um, here I am thinking I have a handle on it, but very stressed out because I've got to have an estate sale. I've got to sell cars. I've got to uh, I've got a piano I need to sell. I've got realtors to deal with. I've got the guy who's doing the estate sale to deal with. I've even got some family members that, uh, that I have to, uh, to deal with. And, and they're a pleasure to deal with. But it's the time coordination of everything. And then, uh, you know, in September, I have to be ready to go back into school and finish getting my teaching degree. So underneath all of this, I'm, I, you know, I haven't had a day to myself really. And, it's, and some of that's my own doing. I could have lived my life better and set myself up um, so that when my father passed away, it would have been even more smooth, you know, but maybe it wouldn't have because I would have had, uh, I would have had my career to contend with. Right now, I'm in a good spot. I can train, release my stress. I have until September before I need to get back into school. And, um, you know, I really can't complain. But when you, lose a, when you lose a parent and you lose a loved one, and now I know firsthand, um, if you have a loving relationship with that, with that parent, it's, it's going to weigh on you. And quite frankly, uh, a friend of mine who, who does, um, uh, who is a hospice nurse, she told me that I shouldn't even be doing any of this for at least a year. And I understand, you know, it's, it's painful to have to pack up a loved one's things and to sell a loved one's, a loved one things, a loved one's things when you're still in mourning. But here's where the snake diet comes in. It builds you for tough times like this. It builds you character for tough times like this. It's the beginning of the year. By the end of this year, anybody who follows the snake diet, by the end of this year, I don't care who you are, by the end of this year, anybody who starts this snake diet, without doing any exercise at all, can lose 250 pounds easily. If you exercise rigorously, you do resistance training, it's almost sky's the limit. But 
the purpose of this video is to talk to you about what the stress will do. The stress made me gain water. And I have a, um, for the last week, I haven't been absolutely perfect on my one meal a day, but I haven't been eating like a jerk. Now, I'm, I take my weight every day and send it to my powerlifting coach. Okay? Now, at the end of the night, I show him what I weigh. Now, here's what I weighed on Tuesday. 262.6 pounds. Okay? Here's what I weigh today. Right now. I just took my weight just now. 252.8. Okay? 252.8. I don't know if you can see that because I don't want to have to run the video back. Let me see. 252.8. 252.8 pounds. Now that Tuesday to Wednesday to Thursday, right? That's 72 hours. That is a 10 pound loss of water. I lost 10 pounds of water, and I was really thinking, well, I don't even know what's going on. I mean, how the hell? I'm eating one meal a day that's barely 2,000 calories, and I'm training. You guys see what I do? I sprint. I lift weights. I put work in. What the hell is going on, right? It's the stress. And, and, and I have to begin to reconcile with that stress. And, um, and as you know, I lost my dad on the 13th, right? So it's been, uh, 18, 19, 20. So it's been 20 days. I can't even believe it's been 20 days, but it's been 20 days. And, um, and last night, my body just started giving up water. I started having to urinate. I woke up four times. But here's the thing. I decided to go to bed at 9 o'clock and just lay there, watch a little YouTube, just go to sleep at 9. Sleep. Sleep until 6. You, you see, you have to recover. You have to recover from weightlifting. You have to recover from an emotional uh, uh, trauma such as the loss of a loved one. You have to recover from your worries, what's going to happen down the, down the road. You have to recover. You have to take time to yourself and rest. That's what I want to say, that if you can take something going into uh, a snake diet journey, you have to understand that nothing lasts forever. A weight loss plateau doesn't last forever. It's not your key to say, it's not your, it's not your, it's not, you're, you are not entitled to say because it, because it doesn't work this way. You're not entitled to, well, you are if you want to, but figuratively speaking, you're not entitled to say, well, I give up and it's just, it's not for me. I can't do it. That's BS. Follow the diet. It will change. After all this time of me snake dieting, I still had, I still had a, a, a big lesson to learn. The loss of a loved one, stress you out, man. Make you retain some water. Make your cortisol go through the roof. And my coach has been so, been so helpful through it. He just says, you know, use the weights as, as good therapy. Just do your best to maintain. It'll change. And he's right, it changed. I'm still dropping water like crazy. I don't eat until tonight. A friend of mine is coming in from, from out of town and we're gonna have steak and, uh, and I'm not gonna eat any carbohydrates tonight. I just want the water gone right now. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go for a couple days, no carbohydrates, just eat meat, eggs, have my snake juice, 
and uh, and see and see where my weight goes from there because my hormones aren't out of, out of balance. It's just my body, for some reason, wants wanted to hold on to water. Maybe there is a correlation between cortisol and water retention. I don't know, but again, the point of the video is. Things are going to stress you out on the snake diet, but it is not a reason to give up throwing the towel because all through the time I was snake dieting and all the other people that I know that snake diet, they all have these same stressful things. They all have to recover. They all go through rough patches. Okay? So, I want you to stay focused. I want you to take the high road. Don't be, don't be mean and nasty to people when you are snake dieting. And, and they act immaturely for whatever reason. Just take the high road and don't talk so much. Just show them what can, what can happen because sooner or later those same people who shake their head at you like, uh, what an idiot, are going to come and ask you for help. And when they do, you just got to realize that, that uh, our society doesn't support fasting. Not like this. It supports intermittent fasting. It supports keto diets. But it doesn't support this type of fasting because it's just too extreme. And people say it's a fad diet. It's not a fad diet. Your body is meant. Your body is meant to do this. It's just a tool. I started, when I started, I didn't eat any carbohydrates for a month and a half. But as the weight dropped, I could incorporate a little bit of carbohydrates in. Now to the point where I eat a great big giant sweet potato a day. And if I screw up and have some carbohydrates, the weight training, the exercising, my body being conditioned to this lifestyle brings it back down with just me being disciplined and saying, okay, you've had your fun. Another two, three, take, take two, three, four days, just dial it back in, and it works like clockwork. Okay, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'm going to try to answer a question now. I'm going to go to the comment section and find a question to address or a comment to address. And uh, I love all y'all, man. Let's make 2019 a great year, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.